All right, this is just a quick video showing the screen uh, of my uh, uh, computer here. It's my laptop. And each one of these items that you see here on the screen is what my uh, four uh, basic standard run-of-the-mill Ender 3 printers have done. Um, I can't really zoom in on each one individually, but I'm able to scan through them quickly to show, I guess, the quantity in, uh, in the time I've uh, owned a 3D printer. Uh, and then I began to get more, so basically I ended up with four Ender 3s here at the house and, and one CR-10S. Uh, I use the Ender 3s most often because they work uh, as expected. Uh, there's nothing fancy about them. They just have their basic uh, ABC123 setup, um, meaning it's uh, the extruder. Uh, you've got your Bowden tube delivery system of the filament to the moving hot end and the table. So there's nothing, again, fancy about it. Hasn't, they haven't been modified unnecessarily because it just hasn't been required. Uh, once they were assembled properly as they were uh, designed by the factory, then they just print. That's all they've ever done. So they, they work for me and have never worked against me. So I'm just going to go through here quickly on the quantity uh, of prints uh, they have done. And I've done many of these several times. So this is just showing, uh, I guess, little icons of each of the items that uh, have been completed in about about five, five and a half years uh, and still printing. So uh, let me go ahead and click on this little link right down here and uh, kind of hold the button down and see what happens. So basically the the cursor is way up here. You can see that there's the cursors there. So I'm going to hold down this button here and then let it scan down at its normal speed because uh, I can't control that. So here we go. Okay, that's it, all the way to the bottom. And there's even some folders down here, right here, that, that aren't open, that have more items in those as well. Um, but uh, yeah, you can see my printers have been uh, pretty busy. Uh, again, the quantity is high, uh, over 3,900 plus um, uh, STL files uh, printed. Um, these are the uh, uh, standard uh, 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 what do they call it? Uh, three, three MF modeling or uh, the visual of the uh, the item itself. So I'm going to just go back up again real quick here, or hold the button down and go back up. All right, that's it. Uh, the most recent I've done, or the printers have done, is a, a dragon, a winged dragon, which is the very uh, last one here, or first one in this case, uh, of the 3D models that have been printed. Uh, so yeah, um, the standard, uh, you know, leave it alone printer uh, tends to print just as it's expected to, um, and it, it, they actually turn out great. I don't have to deal with anything. So there you go. They're just your basic uh, standard Ender 3 printers straight out of the box. Um, no modifications required. Never have been. Never will be. And I've never heated the bed. So in all of those prints that I just scanned through, I've never ever needed to heat the bed uh, using the routine that, uh, that I use. So there you go. Uh, happy printing and uh, yeah, post your results as well.